Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and the subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, I'm trying to apply your suggestion and I have a sticking point and I'm having a lot of trouble overcoming. I'm able to approach random women in the street or elsewhere without really being scared of rejection. Even though I still need to work on my approach and confidence I convey as long as there are not much people around. The sticking issue is approaching in public and crowded areas, example, bus, crowded, shop, etc., where there are people at arm's length in each direction, uh, passing as well, is kind of odd in the sense I don't fear the rejection from the woman, and I do mean that, but I do fear when other people are watching me doing the approach, or at least the fear of watchers of the approach uh, is much, much greater than the fear of rejection. What reinforces this is at times, uh, by coincidence, I run into some random people I somehow noticed in another place earlier. So I'm thinking they could also have noticed me earlier. Uh, also, the fact that I'm familiar with the surrounding area where I do the approaches, I try to do it as part of my everyday life, as you suggest. Both of the above make me feel like people somehow have noticed me and observing or labeling uh, label me that guy who goes around and approaches women. In addition, some may be people that I might run into again, especially if I approach women doing my daily routine and hence pass by the same places a lot. Even though intellectually, I understand that I should not care if other people watch and hear what I do. When the time comes, I usually just freeze. Do you have any suggestions and or practical tips or practical processes to apply on how to overcome this fear and stop caring about what others in my immediate vicinity think of me while I'm doing the approach? Um, it disrupts my practice on what you teach and hence my progress. Also, do you have any programs that helps on this? All right. So this is the thing, man. You know, every now and then, you know, every now and then I always get uh, email with this exact, you know, situation where guys, they're worried about people watching them approach, right? And, and I say the same thing. Understand that these people do not care about you at all. You understand? Even if they saw you before, if they happen to catch you doing it and then they f somehow, you know, saw you again doing it, they, they, they don't care. And most likely that's not going to happen because they, because they don't care, they're not going to remember you like that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So the problem is this. See, the issue is, is that you're going to have problems attracting women because of this. So you're saying you're not afraid of the rejection, but you're afraid of the people seeing you get rejected. Right. And so what happens is that when you talk to these women, that fear that you have in you of the other people watching you talk to the woman is being displayed when you're talking to the woman, which is the thing that's going to make it harder for you to attract the women because you're trying to interact with them while you have that fear in your heart while you're talking to them. Because see, if the, if the thing is this, if this was an issue as far as, let's say, for example, like, let's say if this situation, right, was happening, but you were also getting the women, then you wouldn't care. Like you wouldn't even wrote me this email. You understand? Like you'd be like, yeah, you know, people will be watching me, but I'm, I'm getting all these chicks that I really want and shit is popping off. Like you wouldn't care because things would be popping off, but things aren't going the way you want it to go. Right? Because if it did, then you would just be, you know, doing what you got to do. Right? And so what happens is, is that your failure in this situation is directly correlated to you giving a fuck about what other people are thinking. Right. Because if you were succeeding with dealing with women, then you just, this would be a minor issue. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because you would still be getting what you want to you know, get, but you're not getting what you want to get because you have that fear in your in your heart. And this is why you're not attracting the woman fully, because even in your email, you said, you know, you got to work on your confidence a little bit. So what happens is, is this understand that you not succeeding with these women is directly tied into your fear of what other people are going to think about you. But what I'm telling you is, is that no one is thinking about you. So this is all in your head. So you're the one creating the problem. You see what I'm saying? Like nobody cares. People go through their day thinking about their own situations. 
thinking about all the stuff that they got to do, thinking about the issues that they got at work or with their girlfriend or boyfriend or husband or wife or kids. What they're thinking about that type of stuff, them walking past you for five seconds while you're talking to some woman. Most people aren't even paying attention to you, if, even if they recognize you in the neighborhood. Right. If they saw you talking, they have no idea what the situation is. That could be your sister you're talking to. That could be your cousin, your aunt. That could be your best friend. That could be your girlfriend. They don't know. You see what I'm saying? So let's say if they were actually paying attention to you, they don't know the dynamics between you and that person anyway. So what difference does it make? See, all of it is in your head because you you care too much about what people think. And that is causing you to get nervous because you want to seem a certain way in front of other people. So you're like, man, well, I'm not really scared of getting rejected by the girls, but I don't want other people to look at me this way. I don't want people to think I'm that guy who was just approaching women and see the fact that you would even think that's an issue is going to be an issue when you're approaching women because you think there got to be something wrong with this. You understand? There's something weird and creepy about this. And I don't want people to see me being weird and creepy. But if you think there's something weird and creepy about it, then it's going to be hard for you to approach and attract women because you think in the back of your head, there's something wrong with it. You see what I'm saying? This is the problem. So the problem is coming from your own thoughts. The problem is coming from your own beliefs about this, right? So this is the thing you got to do. You know, you just have to have awareness that none of these people give a fuck. You see what I'm saying? They don't care. So you're stopping yourself because you actually think they do care. Right. But having the understanding and the awareness that they don't care. Right. Will give you the freedom to just do what the fuck you got to do. And even if they did care, you have to be the type of guy who doesn't give a fuck that they do care because you're just doing you. You see what I'm saying? So there's no like, you know, some special technique or whatever. You just got to get out your own way. It's really that simple. You have to get out your own way. The people do not care about you. They got their own lives going on. Most of the people that you think are watching you or looking at you most likely aren't. And even if they were, even if they sort of glanced at you talking to some woman in two seconds after that, they're not even thinking about you. They don't care. You understand what I'm saying? Like a lot of you guys think that when you approach women in the street, everyone just stops. The birds stop in midair, the cars stop, everyone stops on the street and they're all looking at you to see what's going on. And either they're going to cheer you on or they're going to boo you if something goes a certain way. That this is this is not a movie. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck. Everyone is the star in their own movie. You are you are an extra in their movie. You understand when you watch a movie, you're not paying attention to the extras, right? So you are an extra to them. Why would they be paying attention to you? Why, why would they give a fuck about you like that? See, you're the star in your movie. So you think the extras are paying attention to you. But you got to realize you're the star in the movie. So just be the star and do what you got to do. You see what I'm saying? So that that's pretty much it. A lot of this is just you needing to get out of your own way. That's it. That is really it. It's all in your own. It's all in your mind. You understand? Understand that these people don't care. Understand you're in your own way. Get out your own way and then do what you got to do. And then you're going to start to see more success. That is it. All right. So, guys, listen, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. It is the Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale going on. And this year, I'm going to be giving you guys five of my books for one low price. Check this out. These ebooks include Looks Don't Matter, which teaches you seven ways to attract women without your looks, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, which teaches you how to develop a lifestyle that maximizes your number of sex partners, 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. The Bad Boy Book. In this book, you'll learn eight mistakes you're making while dating women. You're also going to learn what to do to get over your fear of approaching women and much more. And the last book you're going to get is How to Get Shit Done. Now, this book teaches you how to reach your goals and to be successful in life. Now, on a regular day, if you got all of these books, it'll come up to $127.97 combined.
But for the Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale, you're gonna get all these books for only $97. That is it, and that means you save $30.97. Now remember, this sale ends on November 28th, which is Cyber Monday, November 28th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click the link below or go straight to mrlocario.com to take advantage of the Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale.